Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. We're going to check in with Ayla and my goal is to actually get her to graduate. So she's going to be graduating early and we'll have to throw a party for her, maybe get her ready for Foxbury. We'll see. But we are starting out here at school. It is a Friday and it's going to be her last day of high school. So I'm like, we definitely have to join her and tag along. So Ayla is like a super genius. She gets amazing grades. She's also the computer team captain. So pretty much done everything that I've wanted to do with her. And I just feel like high school is kind of overrated for her like she's kind of over it you know all the classes are easy and she's just ready for a challenge i guess she is in the nerd brains as far as like the social group goes she also is very popular all my sims have become very popular i think it's mostly because they just have a lot of family and a lot of friends in their family like she has a lot of you know the winchester legacy is just very big and i try to make them all know each other and be friends so a lot of them are like very popular and have a good reputation because they have so many friends but she also has this fear of failure which i thought was kind of interesting that's a newer one that i've seen like i haven't had that one as much so i don't know maybe she's a little bit nervous about college because it is like such a step up from high school but we've got some teens here it looks like they're all ready for the sports day or the big game it is friday so that makes Makes sense. Now, Ayla doesn't really have a lot of friends. Like, everyone's pretty nice to her. She is friends with Caleb, and he doesn't come to school very often. I don't know why. I know I have him now set to, but... Um, but anyway, we'll invite him over and they can chat a little bit. She does have to get to class though, so she'll do that. I thought it would actually be kind of cool for her to skip like one of her classes on her last day because she's just about to graduate, but we'll let her go to her first one at least. Yeah, Caleb has a super big crush on Ayla. And I think she may have a little bit of a crush back. I don't know. Prom date as friends, their best friends, social bunny friends, good friends, and they're deeply connected. But I kind of get the idea too that Ayla's not really looking to date. Um, she's just not interested in it right now. But Caleb does have a big crush on her. She is like the only other alien in the school other than his sister. So that might be one reason. They're both on the computer team. Yeah, I'm so excited for Ayla to go to college or go to university. Like I think she's going to really enjoy it. And of course, Foxberry is perfect for her with the whole robotics team and her, both of her parents went there and they met there and she will be the first to graduate. She's graduating early, so we don't get the whole ceremony and all that. First one we'll get that with will probably be Andrew because he's the oldest in the legacy. So he'll age up first. Yay. So she got her exam done. Let's go try to hang out with, um, let's try to find Caleb. We'll discuss interests. We'll have a deep conversation. Maybe she'll tell him how she's going to be graduating and this is her last day here and he's going to be kind of sad about it because they do really get along. Oh, she wants to attend her last class. Dang it. <laughs> we'll see. I kind of want them to skip it. Okay, so they're going to cloud gaze right here. I think that's so cute. Okay. Oh, she got caught though, I think. <laughs> oh no. Let's see if we can... Um... Let's see if we can get out of it, maybe. She's probably like, I'm a straight A student. Oh, yay. Avoided consequences. Nice. Yeah. They probably don't really get on to Ayla much because she is such a good student. So she'll go and have her snack. Let's see if we can bring Caleb back over. Oh, Benji just hugged the principal. How cute. Benji's like the other very good student. Like, I would say the best students are Ayla, Benji, and Don. Don's over there. That do the best as far as like grades go. But Ayla's just like naturally um, very smart. And I think they are too. But Don is just like a perfectionist. Like, she really studies and works hard. Ayla doesn't really have to like study or do much like anything extra. But she'll go to the bathroom. Oh, and then we do have to take down our locker which is so bittersweet okay everyone's like in her way that's so high school though like kids would be in your way at the locker and you couldn't get to it or whatever she can't really go to her locker very well okay they moved now good um and so we'll freshen up one last time get all our things and we'll go and give up locker ownership so the first locker to go i'm so sad oh okay let's go ahead and head on home now so we made it home and we've got deacon in the living room aurora's still at work and servo's playing some chess she's feeling very confident i think she's so excited to be done with school and be on the next like adventure for herself and she does have one of the trophies 
um, from the computer team. She got some pictures with her and Caleb at like the science fair. And then of course her when she was a child with her grandpa. She's got her flag and all her things from uh, the Star Wars pack. Yeah, we'll go to high school and graduate early. It says graduate early. Are you sure graduating early will mean Ayla will no longer be a student. They will be able to get, get a head start in an early career, but will not get to attend the graduation ceremony. Yes, that's okay. Ayla's not too worried about going to a graduation ceremony. It says, congratulations, Ayla has graduated high school early. They have shown such exemplary academics and extracurriculars that they earned a diploma while still being a teen. Graduating early means that Ayla may begin a career earlier and get a head start for professional growth if they choose to. Since they graduated early, Ayla can enroll in university as a teen and quit the computer team. Aw. Okay, so she graduated. She's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit before she gets her diploma. I know that Servo also got the mail the other day and there's some scholarship letters for her. So why not go and open those now? Okay, so she got the Building the Future Scholarship and the Evergreen Harbor resident and the food and drink. Awesome. So she got all the scholarships she wanted or she applied for. Um, her friend Ash is calling. Ooh, a few people are going to go and build a bonfire at the beach tonight. You want in? Oh, yes. That'll be fun for her. Like, she doesn't have super good friends. I mean, other than a few, but like I said, everyone really likes her still. So she's so excited and confident. She's gonna go ask Deacon for permission and see what he says. Ooh, she does have a sizable scholarship rising from education. And yeah, she doesn't really have anything for graduating early. Of course you can go have fun and be safe, aw. So I don't really see an option to like congratulate her for graduating early, um, but we'll express admiration. And maybe they'll be a little funny, joke about old times, like reminisce a bit since she's growing up so quick and tell a funny story. Oh, so cute. But she does need to go to her event. I don't want her to miss it. So after they chat a bit, they, she can go out. <laughs> oh, I can't believe she's gonna go off to college. Tomorrow is Saturday. I really want to throw a party for her. So when Aurora gets home, well, we can just do it now. So Saturday, we're gonna have an event. And it's probably just gonna be like a house party. I don't think we have a graduation party, but we might keep it kind of small with just like some family friends and gr Grandpa Reed. Yeah, I think we'll do that. If we wanna invite more people, we always can, but we're going to set it for probably like 2 p.m. is normally around the time I set the parties for, but Ayla's gonna go out and hang out with her friends one last time. And maybe they're, maybe they're kind of like throwing this hangout for her since they know she's graduating and some of the computer team will be there and then Ash will be there. So tomorrow's gonna be the big party. Let's go and have Deacon go ahead and cook some things for tomorrow. So for food, I was thinking they would make some of the Star Wars food just because of course they would. Deacon was gonna make the Mustafarian lava roll. We have Rising Moon Overnight Oats and the Batuban. So we'll do a party size of both of those. Aurora earned a raise, awesome, and a bonus. And she just got home, she's so sad. P passionless job, oh, she's having a heart. She must've had a hard day at work. So we'll let her go and cry a little bit. Maybe then she can talk to Deacon and you know, he can console her. Okay, so we've got the lava roll, nice. We'll put those in the fridge. So maybe he can go in and relax in here and try to be there for her. Okay, where'd Aurora go? She's in a better mood. Oh, just being by Deacon made her a lot happier. And she had a promotion, so she's feeling good about that. So I really want Aurora to create something for Ayla to take off to college. So I'm thinking we're gonna make her a party bot. Not that I think Ayla will get into too much party. So really, she should probably make something a little more practical for Ayla, but I think it'll be cute. So we're gonna do that. Cause I know Aurora did go to some parties in college and she's probably thinking about her time in college. And then Deacon made the food. I'm trying to think if he should make a gift. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. Another thought I had was um, in like our household inventory, we have a bunch of these like things that he made, like this bed and well, not that bed actually, like this bed or this one and like a table. So those could be things that she takes on to college with her because um, we got a lot of options. So I think that'd be cute and she could decorate her dorm with them. Maybe we can fabricate something specific for her. 
Or we've got the yellow. Well, Foxberry is kind of red, right? And yellow. So maybe we'll try to do colors like that. So let's do the brick red. Oh, that'll be so cute. So he's going to work on his gift. And we might make a few more things too, but that's special. So yeah, they're going to work on their gifts for their daughter, especially while she's out. Like they're kind of sneaky and in their little robotics lab doing their stuff. And I don't know if I should do pink floral or blue rainbow party. Probably blue rainbow party. I haven't made a pink floral, so maybe we'll do that. Yeah, I think we're going to do that one. And oh, Aspen is over. And Ayla just got back. Oh, good times from Bonfire. These are the days that Ayla will remember fondly forever. Oh, that's so perfect. That's like perfect timing too. Probably need to. Do you have to apply for universities too? Oh yeah, we definitely need to do that. Ayla's university application is on its way. The university will look over the application and mail the results back sometime in the next few days. Oh, so we might have to wait a while, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna accept her application. Okay, she is kind of tired. We'll let her sleep. She has a big party tomorrow, so I want her to feel good for that. And they're still working. It looks like the... Oh, yay! It got done. Oh, I kind of like the floral because it's kind of... I don't know. It's kind of groovy. Let's kind of get them ready for bed, and we'll see how the party goes tomorrow when they all get up. Okay, so it is the morning. Everyone's kind of getting up. Oh, no. What is this? Awaiting university acceptance. Oh, the stress of waiting for the university application results and is maddening. Their whole future is writing on this acceptance letter. Oh, I feel like that ties in with her fear of failure. Yeah, she has a graduated high school early. Ayla has graduated early. What an overachiever. They'll see some career boosts for it. But I'm so sad she's going to be so tense on her, like the day of her party. Oh, okay. She's feeling a little better now. So she'll go and get ready for the day. I did go and decorate a bit. So um, I put on this sign for Foxberry. Even though she hasn't got accepted yet, I'm pretty sure she will. So they have a little sign for that. And then out in the back is where the party will be. Oh, Servo's fixing the little radio. That's awesome. And then we've got a photo booth and we got some, or like a table for all the food. But she'll change into her party outfit and I thought she could invite over her friends a little early. Oh, she's got a sentiment with Ash. Trusting. Oh, Ash trusts Ayla. And they have lasting memories. Oh, that's so cute. We'll invite Caleb over a little bit early. I kind of want her to take some pictures in the photo booth with like her family and friends. So maybe she can start doing that. Maybe she'll take a photo. She'll do a friendly photo. We'll do a funny photo with Deacon. <laughs> so we'll take a funny photo. <laughs> and then take a friendly photo with her mom. Oh, that's so cute. And then we'll take one with Aurora. Yeah, I love this photo booth to like have it for parties. I think that's really cute. So they'll get a picture together. Ooh, it says magic moments. Ayla will always remember the good old days because of photos like these. Oh my gosh. I'm getting so like sentimental. Like this generation, this is the first one to kind of be done with high school. Aw. <laughs> so cute. So let's say hi to Caleb. We'll ask about his day. And then they can take a mischievous photo together. I think that'd be funny. They'll do that. <laughs> so they'll take their photo together. Yeah, she is still feeling kind of, oh, three days. <laughs> That might be as long as the acceptance letter takes. Oh, it says, partners in crime. Nothing like causing a little mayhem together in the photo booth. Okay, there's their picture. Oh my gosh, that's too perfect. Aw, it says, you make my day so much better. Thanks for making me, me smile. So cute. So they're going to cloud gaze and hang out for a bit. I think we better turn off Sherby just because I don't want to forget about her. So deactivate and we'll put her on the... Thing. Oh my gosh, don't stumble stumble for four hours. Huh, from being clumsy. <laughs> Ooh, okay, school is stupid. I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? Oh my gosh. I think she's talking about university and because she's so like stressed about it that she's like, I don't even want to go anymore. Like she's really I don't know why she's so stressed though, but um, school teaches important things. Society requires school for success. I think we'll go with school teaches important things. They both went to school, Deacon and Aurora, so they do really value school. 
But <laughs> poor Ayla. Oh, now she's scared. They're planning something. Oh, I mean, she's in a good mood though, but she's just stressed about it. Oh, today's mail has been delivered. Of course, Ayla's gonna come over and check it right away. Although I don't think her letter will be there yet. Oh yeah, and from the computer team, she also got this laptop, which is perfect for her going off to college. So I thought that was great. Okay, she collected everything, but I don't see anything. So we just need to pay the bills, I guess. Oh no, Ayla has a major crush on Kiko. <laughs> oh man, I have to admit, I want a better like system in the game for like these crushes because I really think it's just if your sim spends a lot of time with another sim, then they get a crush. Like, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't know how seriously to take them half the time. And especially with the crushes, like also all my legacy sims in the family are having crushes on each other. So like, I obviously don't take those seriously. So it's like, do should I take any of them seriously? I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully we get some kind of romance system in the game at some point. But we'll have Aurora come over and fill the fountain. We'll just do fruit punch. So yeah, they'll dance together a bit. We've got the food out. She is getting kind of hungry actually, so maybe we'll come over and grab a serving. And then, oh, Reed's here. We definitely need to get a picture with him. Look at his outfit. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh no, and then Kathy's hair is missing, so I must have taken that out of my game. Let's see if she has any outfit with hair left. Oh yeah, she's got quite a few. She's missing hair in several of her outfits and no pants or skirt on that one. <laughs> so Ayla's getting something to eat. I definitely want her to come in and take a photo. We'll do a friendly photo with Reed. So let's see how it turned out. Aw, super cute. Oh no, we changed his outfit in there. I literally changed it before he went in. But yeah, everyone's having a good time, getting something to eat. No one's really eating the uh, Star Wars food. <laughs> like, I think Aurora noticed that and made something different. She made this here. And no one wants the weird Star Wars food that Deacon made. That's so funny. Uh, we're gonna skip prom. And let's chat with Reed some more. We'll have a deep conversation with him. Tell outrageous story. And just kind of chat with our friends. We'll talk to Ash as well. Um, let's ask about their day. We never really did this trait, but honestly, I don't have too many of my Sims do this trait. Like I might have Dawn do it because like I said, she is kind of a perfectionist. I don't know, I'm not too worried about that one. Academic, yeah. We'll probably do that next. Enroll in university, so she's out of high school, out of that mindset, and now she's, you know, focused on college, so. Oh yay, party is over. Did pretty good. Um, we're going to end the gathering too. And kind of say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> Aw, let's go and put our food in the fridge though, because I know they'll eat it. At least Deacon will. Okay, so I think this is where I'll end this part, um, just because we gotta wait on her acceptance letter. And then in the next part will be... Oh wait, we have to give her gifts, don't we? I totally forgot. Okay, so let's do friendly, give gift, friendly gift. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, pink floral party bot. Let's see if she likes it. Yeah, I totally forgot that we have to give the gifts, so we'll give our party bot to her. Oh, and it started raining just on t in time. Aw, did she like it? Well, I'm just gonna say she did like it because I think that was really sweet. And I don't think he can give gifts in the household inventory. Maybe he'll give some simoleons. <laughs> we'll give like $500 for college, <laughs> which is a really good gift. So that'll be like for her to buy her books and stuff or like while she's in college. So maybe we'll start out with 500. Like I'll get her into college and then I'll change their funds to, or change her funds to just 500. I don't know, that seems like not very much, but they could always send more, I think, but that'll start her out. But I do think I'll end the part here just because we have to wait for the acceptance letter and then I wanna get like her some new outfits for Foxberry and all that. I'm pretty sure she'll get accepted because she had amazing grades and graduated early. But yeah, so next time we see her, she'll be off to Foxberry. I'm so excited. It's been a while since I've played in like the university life. The only thing is like university can be really hard when you play like rotationally. 
or have like a lot of other households that you're trying to manage at the same time. So I'm still trying to figure out what's the best for that. So maybe we'll play like one term or something and then have her come back and then play it again in a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, enough of the chatting. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I'm so excited for Ayla's future and I'm excited to see how college will be. She's gonna have to make a lot of new friends because her friends won't be there, um, at least not right away, because they're still in high school. But yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.